and you had some people, uh, I, and I, I don't know exactly what was going on, but you were able to get some really special equipment to get in here. Is that correct? Yeah. So we, we use a lot of a lot of special uh, special things. Um, the main tool that we use are um, acoustic monitors. So uh, these these detectors, we put them out and they passively record um, bat calls. So they will collect calls for however long they're out. Um, some of them can stay out in the field for you know twelve to twenty days. Um, some of the larger ones up to forty. Um, so it was a lot of borrowing equipment, uh, asking. Because we only had two detectors, personally, um, at Craters of the Moon. And unfortunately, neither ended up working out this season. Um, oh. So that's the problem with uh, expensive technology. It, uh, it doesn't always work. And you just got to go with it. Um, so a lot of last-minute calls. And we were able to borrow some equipment from Idaho Fish and Game, which was great. And, um, yeah, this project was able to be a success. And also, we had – it was originally six caves that we were supposed to study – um, we went through 18 caves, so we had to really buff the equipment we had. Um, so, like I said, detectors are, are the key. Uh, we also used uh, a Sony Night Shot camera 4K video um, with a nice little infrared kit to do some outflights. So as the bats are coming out, trying to identify them. So a lot of infrared work, so that was another good uh, little bit.